olori actually um open up on the reason why it took so long for only of Ife to take her as a wife after um their marriage commitment five years before the wedding that took place last year which is 2022 hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is jenny and you are in turkey headquarter so Olu actually did this interview with son yesterday it's very long but i'll just pick and tell you guys the most important thing which uh, everyone have been waiting to hear before I start, if you want to read the whole interview, go to the Sun um, Voice of the Nation. Um, you can type the Sun News, then Olori Ashley, on Google, and you will read it all the whole interview. is is lengthy, so but I'll just narrate the the brief ones that uh, if you are interested to hear about it. Yeah. So, remember last, um, okay, 2021, when I did, I've been doing video about Olori Ashley. Since 2021, I was saying that she has been married to Oni of if you like, did introduction or engagement. I don't know what Yorubas calls it, introduction or engagement. Either of them is correct. So, since 2018, even before Oni of Ife married Queen Naomi. That was when that um, marriage introduction took place. So right here in this interview, she talked about it and talked about, you know, the reason why it took so long for Oni of Ife to finally announce her to the world. Now, let's begin. She was asked, most people know that you and Oni have been in relationship for years. How come it took him so long to pronounce you as his queen? She said, hmm, in life's journey, sometimes you can't choose your race. Your families had met, our, okay, she said, our families had met over five years ago. That was commitment for me. At that time, my daughter was very young and she was my focus. And then, there was a carpet on the throne because I was already a mother. To protect my daughter, I had to be patient. My daughter comes first and means the word to me. I knew I had my husband and he was not going anywhere, no matter how long it took. We knew what we had and we knew we were both recognition on the throne of our forefathers. The focus was not to be official but to protect my only child. I choose that and will choose it over and over again. My husband is my crown jewel. I have always called him my husband over the years. I honor, love, and adore him. It's open to him when he choose to officially introduce me to the world. Everything comes to you at the right time. So be patient and trust the process. Wow. Did you hear that? Okay. Let me quickly narrate it before we continue. She was saying that uh, why Oni of Ife did not, you know, pronounce her as his queen. You know, why it took him so many years was during that time that she just had a baby. And because she's a new mom, she cannot be the queen. And she has to protect her daughter because of so many things going on in the palace that time. So as a mother, she loves her daughter and her daughter comes first. So she has to protect her daughter, you know. Even though um, she knows that only of Ife is already her husband because uh, they, are in, they are a kind of recognition of the Ife throne, queen and king, I don't know, something like that. So she also said that She's not in a haste. She has to be patient with the king. And that was exactly what she did. She waited for him to announce her officially. That even since that time that they did um, the marriage commitment, that she, ha she has always referred Oni of Ife as husband. In Akakos, in the palace, and in Ilife, people in the Ilife already knows that Oni of Ife is her husband. Wow. 
So let me just um, move on to another important. Um, all the interviews she did are important, but I'm just doing the ones that um, a lot of people are interested in. So she was also asked, how easy is it living or cohabiting with so many queens in the palace? So she said, I am not based in Nigeria, so I am not living with any of my sister wives. When I visit, I see some of them. We are all matured and we cohabit in a very respectful way. I actually don't see enough of them. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I was raised in a polygamous home, so I understand the dynamics and gimmicks of cohabiting with many wives. Wow, did you hear that? So, I think um, her dad too married um, maybe two, three, four wives. So, she already used to polygamous home. Wow, that was why she didn't even take it as anything. Whew, that's a very, very nice thing to hear so you can see here she said that since she don't stay in nigeria that is it's very easy for her to you know cohabit with her sister wives she called them sister wives so they are like sisters and wives wow that's good to hear so she also said that uh, since uh, she don't normally stay you know get to see all of them at the same time that when she comes back she sees some and would not see some so she don't really know if it's a good thing or a bad thing and me too i don't know whether it's a good thing or the bad thing you that is watching do you know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing well let's continue she now said they now asked her how would you describe your husband the only of Fifi? she said if i were to describe my husband i would describe him as my crown jewel my father, my heartbeat, and the love of my life. My husband is prodigious. He's an amazement to me. And everyone that comes in contact with him, he's outstanding, though he has been through so much in his life. is incomprehensible to understand how he stays strong and selfless at all times. I can never find the right, right word to describe my darling husband. Wow. Why others search for what they can eat? My husband always hunts for what he can give as a true king. He has dedicated his entire life to humanity. I embarrass and embody that from him. Wow. I love this part where he said where people are always hunting for what to eat, that the king is looking for, you know, what to give his people. This is very good, but I just want to ask, there is some roads, those roads that lead to the palace. Uni of Ife, please, sir, you need to do something about it. People are complaining terribly. During rainy season, oh my goodness, that road is bad. Maybe it might be federal road, but at least, since Uni of Ife is a man that has his people at heart, he should just pursue the government everywhere they are. Pursue them bomber to bomber. Follow them bumper to bumper so that they will do that road, you know. And honestly, Uni of Ife is trying through his wives and that um, Hope Alive initiative. He's giving a lot to the poor, especially the people of Ile Ife. They open borehole, a lot of things, some social amenities, you know, that have been doing a lot in Ile Ife through Uni of Ife um, and through one of his wife Ulori um, Tomitoke yeah so they now ask her about her foundation we already know she dedicated it to her father you know all of that they now ask her tell us about your drive as a mother and your greatest inspiration in wanting to deliver um it's long they ask her a lot of questions but the final one oh my god this is so long like it will take you hours to finish reading this oh my goodness i'm just looking for more questions that people have been asking you know okay it's it's already finished but the question is so huge it's too much 
you know just go like i said before go to google type um olori ashley no type sun news olori ashley and you see it so the cocoa of this all interview is that olori ashley get to meet the king through his dad and they had a marriage commitment which is maybe introduction or engagement and before you know it maybe she got pregnant and gave birth to a baby still only of if he still loves her you know and that deprived her from being a queen that time maybe if she did not have that baby uh maybe only would have married her before queen naomi or something like that i think that all these things that happened in only of if it's life the marriage the women everybody was destined by god anything that happens to people especially is somebody like only of if he, he has truly went through a lot it's not easy for first wife to leave second third you know then you're not married seven women at a time he has really gone through a lot but you don't really know what is pursuing those women whether it's from whether it's his fault or is it from the foundation of the palace or is it from the people in the palace or is it from whatever forces that is making his wives to leave but anyone um, that is making them to leave we believe that now that he has seven the solution the problem is solved seven of them cannot go at the same time ah yes maybe two will go he will marry another one and join them well, this interview was a very beautiful one, and I'm very, I'm super happy that Ululi Ashil has finally said it with her mouth that she has been married to Oni um, for since 2018. You know, when I, when I, when I say it, people will say it's a lie. It's not true. It's not true. It is that now you've heard it from her mouth. I never lied. You know. Yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed doing this video because I was doing it like as if I'm reading like when we used to do uh, reading competition in class when we are doing literature all those the beautiful ones are not yet born that's you know that's how we read it this read and explain I really enjoy doing this video this particular video and thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video. I'm super, super grateful, honestly. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you for all your comments, both the good, the bad, the ugly. I accept it. And I've corrected myself in some of the places I do make mistakes in my video. Even though I'm not safe, nobody's perfect now. No, no, no. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Anyway, happy Sunday and enjoy the rest of the week. I love you guys. Bye.